Welcome to the Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal. Please come in and have a seat today. I'm just doing a topic video in regards to Miss Alicia Jacoby. Now, I have been hearing that she's been in a, in a whole host of trouble recently regarding uh, two of her, I guess you could say, kinship children. But I'm not really going to touch on that. I'm going to touch more on the topic of is she receiving critique or is she receiving harassment slash bullying? And I can see it from both sides. Now, from the critique standpoint, I can see that some commentary channels really feel a certain way about Alicia and how she, you know, runs her channel, like what she's sharing on her on her channel. And I get that I really do. So from their standpoint, they're like, well, we're just putting it out there, doing commentary, et cetera, et cetera. So these are people for me, I can come across that could be like they're giving her like good critique, but mixed in with some, um, hmm, how can you say, over critique. Now, as far as harassing, you know, some people complain that, you know, uh, people do too many videos on her. It's not fair. She's a good mom. She's this and she's that. And I, and I do agree. Like, you know, if you got 12 kids and you're managing to take care of them all, kudos to you. You're doing a great job. But like I said, there's room on, room on each side. So it comes down to, in my opinion, whether you like Alicia as a person or not. So I'm going to start on the critique side because I've done a few videos on Alicia and there are some things that do concern me. Now, one of the first things that does concern me is the oversharing. I understand the channel is called the Doc, Doc Lee Dozen. So the kids are going to be part of the content, but I do think she shares too much. One video comes to mind is where they bought, I want to say, the oldest son, like a Jeep or something. I'm like, that's kind of cool. That's something that should be filmed. That's great. Like, I'm happy they were able to do that for him. But when watching the video, the license plate wasn't blurred out. I'm like, um, ma'am, no. Like, that's, see, that's giving too much information. Whether you meant it or not, and in my opinion, when it's pointed out to you, she should have took that video down and blurred out the license plate, but she did not do that. I'm like, yeah, you, in my opinion, it can come across like you just don't care. Then, you know, I've seen her film, like, you know, videos where she talks about where her kids go to school, um, their activities, their activity schedule. I'm like, that's way too much information. And this deserves to be critiqued and unpopular opinion if she keeps doing it, it needs to be called out because she's not understanding like this is a huge issue. This is like a security issue for her whole family. I mean, not just the kids, but particularly the kids, but the whole family in general, because, you know, if you have a school name, you it's easy to track people down nowadays with social media and Google. It's ridiculous. So next thing, the content. Now, her content really isn't my jam, but I understand people's concerns that her kids are in too deep on the, in the content, but the way she set up the channel, the doctor doesn't, you know, the, the gist of the channel is she's a mom of 12 children. So therefore the children have to be a part of the content. I mean, there's no real way around that, but I do think she could be more judicious in how she shares the content and like, you know, how much she features the children in the content. So my thing is this, why can't she do more videos about herself? Why can't she talk more about her experience as a mom, you know, to 12 children? I think that would be interesting as well. It doesn't always have to be about the kids. Now, people have an issue of her spending. You know what? It's her money. She can spend it how, however she wants to. It's not that big a deal to me because personally, I do like to see some of her hauls. Now, some of her hauls have gotten a bit out of touch, a little bit out of hand. I mean, the buying all of the paper products, I mean, me, myself, do I like washing dishes? No, but man, I think you do have a dishwasher and if you don't, wouldn't it be more cost effective to, you know, get a dishwasher? Either way, you know, the money she spends doesn't matter to me, but when you put on your channel your monthly bills and you write them out for everyone to see, I, you open yourself up for criticism. You do. You do. Stuff like that. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Now, moving on. Now, I'm going to go on to the harassment part. 
Now, some people feel that a lot of the channels make too many videos on Alicia. And I've seen a couple, and I can say, I can agree to an extent. My thing is this. If Alicia is still exhibiting the same behaviors over and over, then I don't see a real problem with calling it out. Where I do see an issue is if you're calling out the same issue, like multiple times in the same week, like you'll say, like, you have one video about her releasing medical information on Monday, you know, and she did it, she did it within the last couple of days, fine. But to do a similar video on the same subject on Wednesday, and then doing another video on Friday, even if it's mixed in with another topic, it's still to me the same critique multiple times in the same week. And I really don't think it's necessary. I think maybe once a week calling her out on a particular issue is completely fine. But when you do it over and over and over, and she hasn't repeated the same behavior multiple times in the same week, I think it becomes a bit obsessive and a um, bit harassing. Now, last point of this video is the frequency of the videos and the harassment portion. Now, YouTube doesn't like when you make multiple videos about the same person with the same week. Now, it's in TOS. I think most of us know that. But in my opinion, YouTube doesn't care because there are whole channels out there dedicated to one topic or one person. So I am going to kind of take that with a grain of salt right now. YouTube will only do something about it when, you know, a content creator's channel or the content itself is flagged them over and over again. That's when they step in. Otherwise, they don't monitor it like they should. Now, the frequency of the videos, I think if it's different topics, you know, like say you do two to three videos with, about multiple issues of, uh, concerning a creator within the same week, I'm not... I'm not going to say it's wrong if it's different topics slash behaviors. It's when it's the same content being reused and, re, and like, you know, regurgitated within the same week. Like seven videos within a week about the same person and the same issue. That, it, to me, that's harassing. You know, once or twice a week is more than enough. So on um, that point, I could see where some channels do harass her. And I can see where some people have issues. Also, going real life, taking things offline, contacting people, families, friends, jobs, that is clear harassment, you know, calling like the, like um, CPS on people. Yeah, that's doing way too much. That, and it should not happen. Keep, you know, your critique, keep your issues to online behavior. Don't take it offline because what happens is when you start going real life on people based on the internet, they're going to be real life consequences and it works both ways. That's why, you know what? Keep it to online shenanigans, keep it to online issues and keep it there because if you go real life on someone, you don't get to complain when they go real life on you. That's why in, in the case of Alicia Doherty, my thing is this, there's going to become a point where she gets absolutely fed up with what's going on and what's being done to her. And if and when she decides to retaliate against content creators for what they've done to her by going real life, I'm not going to sit and say, you know what, poor creators, like she shouldn't have done them. Like, nope, she was just defending herself and her family and let, let what happens happen. That being said, that is all I have for you today. Talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.